guys welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in to another video appreciate y'all well we just got to the water just got to the river it's right behind me there this is something i've only done maybe two times and it doesn't include a boat i'm gonna be walking out got my flip-flops on and trunks and we're gonna be visually looking for some pretty cool fish i don't want to spoil it just yet For now, I'm gonna switch over to my GoPro, put this camera away. You guys, stay tuned, stick around, and let's go catch some fish. Let's go. That is warm water. All right, guys, so at this point, um, as you can tell, I have my my pike set up here, so it means I got my 60-pound fluorocarbon leader, got my go-to, the husky jerk, and my medium-heavy rig. So obviously, I'm targeting something toothy, something that potentially could be big, but something that you're probably not expecting. I wouldn't consider this fish to be a popular species to target in Canada at least. But I'm lucky enough to live in an area where they're super abundant. Last time I did this, I brought water shoes, which was very intelligent because as you can see, it's rocky and I got bare feet. It is painful. So before we get into the, hopefully the nonstop, fishing action give you a little bit of info on this fish so these fish live in low oxygen areas and you'll see them they'll snap or uh, they'll gulp air and swallow it and that's how they get their oxygen fun fact there's my first one they spotted the first fish not sure if the GoPro picked it up, but we saw a fish. It wasn't a big one. I'm happy to see that the fish are here. We got one. Ah, damn it. Still see him. We got him. We got him. Oh my goodness. We got him. Now the key, the hardest part about this is keeping them pinned. Oh, that is such a cool fish. Long nose gar in Canada. This guy's gonna shake himself off here, I think. There he goes. What a cool looking fish. So that's the fish we're going after today, the long nose gar. Now I mentioned earlier as well that there's just not that many places that I know of that you can find them in, uh, in Canada. You know, Great Lakes or tributaries mostly of the Great Lakes. They're really not that common. But man, do those things ever put up a good fight and they grow to just well over 50 inches. Let's see if we can properly land one of these prehistoric giants. Is it carp? Will he eat a jerk bait? Nope. <laughs> that is a giant. Or is that a log? It's a huge gar. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. how much the GoPro can pick up but I'm, I'm sure you, you guys can't see quite as clearly as, as I can right now with my polarized lenses on but another good guard just swam you know he sna snapped at it once or twice and actually missed the missed it both times oh we got a couple here there's a big one it's right there guys there's a big one A 
that's a big one. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Got the back, oh, the front hooks are out now. Oh, oh my God. This thing is a giant. This is a giant. Look at him. Holy crap, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. I gotta beach him. <gasps> so somehow now the hook's out of his mouth and behind his head. Which may or may not make life easy for me. I don't know. This is a look at this fish, it's gigantic. Oh my goodness. Holy, so much power, so much power. Here we go, let's land this guy. Oh my goodness. Look at this fish, guys. You see a lot of these? This is called a long nose gar. This is the biggest one I've ever seen. I want them. It's, a, it's a real living dinosaur. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> Let's get this one back in the water. Yeah, that is really neat. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's it. This is what I was this was the goal. Oh, thanks buddy. Wow. That is a big fish. I'll walk you out a little bit deeper. Look at that fish, guys. Here he goes. That is cool. Oh my God, that was an incredible experience. I don't know how big that fish was. My guess would be between 45 and 50 inches. I meant to measure him against my fishing rod, but I just wanted to, to get him back in the water as quick as I could. The look of the fish, the power of the fish, just an unbelievable fish to try to catch. And that's just one. We've seen six or seven fish today. That's just the first one that we've been able to, to land up on this beach. So let's get back out there, guys, see if we can catch some more. So we got a fish right there, guys, in about eight inches of water. Oh, he bit it. He bit it. I had him by the end of the snout. I don't know if I should set the hook or not. Ah, there's another one. Much smaller though. I can see the big boy. I can still see his shadow up there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> oh my God, I've never had a fish take out that much line. That must have been 100 feet of line he peeled out. Holy. So much power. Oh my. Look at this. 
have to stand so far back to get this fish in frame. Okay, buddy. Long nose gar. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> Look at the head. Just sh such a cool creature. There you go. Freaking dinosaur. Unbelievable. There's one. Big and big and they're all big. He got it, he's got it, he dropped it. Oh man. So now that's the that's the third fish in a row that I've had bite that I haven't even hooked. Like not even a little bit, not even not even pinned, not stung. Their beaks are bone, L like literally bone, and are very difficult to get hooks into. What I heard when I first, uh, you know, was researching these guys was guys using rope at the end of their lures, or literally just throwing rope, not even hooks, just rope. And what happens is they have hundreds and hundreds of these little needle teeth and their teeth get tangled up in the rope it's a lot easier to catch them that way than try to get hooks into them now the issue with that is well it's illegal so you can't at least in ontario you're not allowed to target these fish with anything other than something with a hook you know live bait lure whatever and the second issue is if you do target them with rope those fish can die what can happen is their bill will get tangled the top and bottom of their jaw will get tangled in the rope and they'll get they'll be stuck with a locked jaw and will will die from that there's a little guy he saw me you can't let them see you first that's the key there's another one Spooked him with the lure. That was stupid. I can still see him. Come on, buddy. There we go. Got him. Wow. The bull just came out. As if. Oh, beautiful. Look at the colors. Just a beautiful specimen. Here, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Graceful. Nope. Set the hook to her that time. Not a big one, but wow, that was crazy. That fish followed right to my feet and snapped. Literally, I could have I could have grabbed this fish in my hand. There we go. There you go, buddy. Thanks for the battle. <laughs> No tickets. Wow. Well, that exceeded any expectations that I had. I think I didn't actually take a tally of the totals, but I know we caught four. I know we probably saw between 25 and 30 fish. And I probably had 12, 12 or so fish actually try to eat the lures when you have to hook them by the literal skin of their teeth you're not going to catch very many so one in four ain't bad and two big ones if anybody has any suggestions for the actual landing part um it, i find it very difficult these fish not only are they big but they're extremely powerful so 
All I could think of was like if I dragged the cradle net with me. Um, I've tried before actually putting them in a regular net and it mad, just imagine their beak going through. It's just an absolute disaster. I'm gonna be back out here really soon, guys. I'll do my best to to get better footage. I'd like to bring the drone out next time. I just haven't figured out how I'm gonna do that. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you on the next adventure.